Reconnective Healing. I'm Jill Brennan. I'm a Reconnective Healing practitioner and I used to do these Friday lives quite regularly. I'm going to start doing them for the month, well, for the rest of February into March for Lent. I hope you can hear me all right. Talking of Lent, before I get started and just explain about Reconnective Healing if it's new to you, I've been using this book, this is shameless plugging of my own book, <laughs> Jill Brennan, that's me. It's my forgiveness journal and it's a 40 day sort of spiritual practice, it's deepening practice of Ho'oponopono, which is one of my favourite practices to use. Reconnective healing, by the way, has nothing to do with practices. There's no ritual or technique at all involved in it. So this is something quite different, although there are similarities to the philosophy about it. And I'm going to just uh, show you what I mean in a moment. So what it is, is 40 days of Ho'oponopono. And I'm using it for Lent. And we're on, what, day three of Lent uh, today. It was Wednesday it started and we're on Friday. So what you have is day one and you have a little day here. You, you can write the date. So I've written the 14th for day one and then Sunday, Monday, Tuesday and circled the Wednesday. And that just helps me to keep track of what day is what calendar date, if you know what I mean. So there's an introduction to Ho'oponopono. There's total responsibility, which is what lies at the heart of it of the practice, 100% responsibility for everything that shows up in your life and that's when you clean. You can only clean it if you take responsibility for it. And today we're on day three, which is Friday. So you see here, day three, I've circled F for Friday and I've just put the little number 16 above. That's the day of today's date. And this is all about Socrates, no thyself who am I because it's really getting to the heart of who is the I who is the I capital I and beginning to understand this helps to just get the notion of what's happening in reconnective healing so there's a little bit of philosophy although it's all very concise that's all you get just that page and then you get a little exercise each day you get something to do a little activity or some place to journal and I want to just read this final paragraph. I read this just before coming on live. When I am quiet and still, I touch base with this I, this I that is the ground of all being, and experience it simply as I am. This I, this witness in awareness that I call myself, is the true essential nature of being. And it is a self that does not exist exclusively to me alone, but is shared with everyone and everything. Shared with everyone and everything. And that's why reconnective healing works, or that's how it works. It's a non-dual phenomena. It bears witness to the non-duality of things which is something that the mystics have known through the ages. It's something that in Eastern traditions they teach, something that Jesus knew about. And that's why he talked about I am so much, which brings me to mentioning, Jill, a message that you left, a comment that you left on my recent video just this morning. And I want to talk about that. So I'm just going to bring that here now before we start. Uh, I don't want to forget these things I meant to do. I can just hear that my, my son's brought, brought Roy back from taking him for a walk and I've got an awful feeling he might start scratching at the door because I didn't have time to just to ask him to not, not let him come and, you know, keep an eye on him. Anyway, we'll see what happens. So I just want to look. Here he is. Sure enough, the door was open so he's just come in. Let me just get this message up. So, Jill, you say, hello, Roy. Hello, darling. Hello. He's here. He's just out of shot, but he is here. Are you going to settle down and be a good boy and don't bark? Sometimes he barks if he hears noises outside, but hopefully he'll be nice and quiet. Go and settle down. Yeah. 
So Jill, you're saying, it's, you're commenting about my recent video, which was really talking about my experience at the healing rooms and Jesus the Healer. It introduces Jesus the Healer that I'm going to be thinking about in the next few weeks as well. You were saying that you've been working on some sigils and it's Jill Reed, Green Healing Rooms. Green Healing Room, if you want to check her out on Instagram to know what she's talking about. She paints these beautiful sigils. And uh, you were saying that there are messages that come through when you when you write the uh, when you paint these sigils, usually the next day. Your words prompted Yeshua's words to me. So in case you Oh, you've said about the journal. I tried to do it for 40 days last year, but didn't get past day 15. Thanks for sharing and reminding me about the journal. Yeah, I'm using my one from last year. I'm just going to turn it, move this down a little bit because it looks as though you're getting a big expanse of, uh, of, of, the, of the ceiling and you don't need that. <laughs> you don't need all of that. Um, and if you use it the year after, you can, if you use it in pencil and just write the dates in pencil and even what you're writing in, or use post-it notes you can just reuse it again and again so I've made a start on using it hi Julie nice to see you too hi Janet oh I'm glad that you're uh, you're joining us as well yeah good I did try to put uh, a message out just so that you would know but if you know now that each each Friday I'm going to come on and do healing for us up until Easter and we'll see what happens after that. I can't always promise just because of stuff, but um, but it's nice to keep this connection. So simply allowing, simply allowing is what we're going to do. There is no uh, no need for me to know anything about the person and what your need is. There isn't any analysis. There isn't a transference of energy from me to you. Otherwise, how could it work for people that are, you know, all over the world? Janet, I know, I know some people are in Ireland. You're in Ireland. Julie, you're in Texas, I think. Paul, I can't quite remember where you are. I think you're a long way away anyway. <laughs> I'm in Cornwall, UK. And anybody that's watching this back later, you know, how do we explain if you are experiencing something which I I really expect that you will do because this is what happens time and again. People tell me this, that when I activate the frequencies, which I will do in a moment, all I'm doing is bringing my attention. I'm starting to feel it now in my hands as I'm holding my hands here. I'm starting to feel little currents of uh, energy. Uh, around running across my hands you know it's almost like little ants little insects but it's subtle little currents and how do I explain that it's because you are coming and you are open to receive and so am I and this sense of separation collapses we enter this field we're not really moving anywhere. When I say enter, even that use of language isn't correct because I'm not entering anything. It's all to do with awareness. So we are acknowledging, let's say, that the same I am that's in me is the one that's in you. We share the same ground of being. And in just sitting with that knowledge, we start to have a different perspective on life and we feel differently about ourselves feel differently about our bodies about the other people around us because all our values everything that we think we know just alters and shifts it becomes meaningless if we're all one and why are we fighting among ourselves why are we arguing if we just let that illusion of separation collapse we might just think differently about it so reconnected feeling is a lovely way of affirming this reality it's a, a philosophical reality but it's an ontological reality too it's really the nature of being so I've talked for a long time let's do let's do some healing let's receive let's receive Find somewhere to be comfortable. 
Let's take a few deep breaths and just center yourself. Again, this is not technique, not teaching a technique. This is just to prompt us in focusing our attention. Let your mind switch off from whatever you've been doing, whatever you'll need to do later today. And just bring your whole being to here and now. become aware of anything that you notice in your body, no matter how subtle it is, slightest little tingle sensation or a twitch or a change of temperature. In case you're wondering what I'm doing with my hands, this isn't a technique, it isn't a method. I'm simply playing, just moving until I notice something. And it's happening for me all the time. Little finger, little thumb, the bottom of my the heel of my uh, foot, just notice something, the arch of my foot, it was. Just 
What does that mean? I don't know. I just notice it. I just observe it. Could it be it corresponds to something you're feeling? Possibly. Could it be that it corresponds to something that somebody watching in a week's time, in a month's time, in a year's time feels? Possibly. I remember one time someone telling me that the moment I said something on a video about where I, I felt a particular sensation, they felt it immediately in the same place. And what was bizarre was that they said, when they looked at the recording date, it was like three years earlier that I made the video. Out of time and space. A little pocket of eternity. Ah, that's nice. It's a reminder that our soul the soul is eternal. And this is an experience of the soul. And it just ripples down to the body, to the cellular level. Okay. My hands feel really tingly. They feel almost hot. I don't know if anybody else is feeling heat. Sometimes you've told me before that you you felt heat. You know, it's been quite cold and you started off with cold hands, but by the end you felt hot. It does make sense what I just said about the soul being an experience of the soul because reconnective healing works on all different levels and it's to do with uh, your life plan helping things come into alignment or reminding you of your soul's purpose maybe that's what's happening with it just uh, clearing blockages I don't know what's lovely is we don't need to give an explanation why am I saying these things then? Well, just because it's, uh, it's fascinating. It's awe-inspiring. That's what just came to mind. That word awe, which just means wonder. It's wonderful. And it truly is out of this world. And yet it's here in this world at the same time. Yeah. I hope you are able to sense something of that and have some experience, even if it was just a lovely sense of calmness and peace. Yeah. 
Have a look at those of you who are here. See what you're saying. <laughs> That's nice. Thank you. I'm glad. I was glad of a new subscriber. Christine. Hello. Hope you're well. Yeah. Christine is my cousin. Uh, that's lovely. You and Roy, yeah. <laughs> that's what you get when you're live and you're working with animals. I do realise it's not ideal, but, you know, hey, we're. Uh, it's lovely connecting with you in real time. That's something really special about that. Yeah. A pocket of eternity, yeah. Those, the, sometimes these phrases just come to mind while I'm... Uh, you know, while I'm just, just in the middle of doing the uh, doing a session, and so, yeah, maybe they just pop them into my head to share. Felt the love, yeah. Thanks, Jill. I'm glad you're here, actually, Jill, because I did share about you. I don't know if you you caught at the beginning when I I, I mentioned your uh, your comment and uh, quoted from that so if you, if you did miss it you can always, always look back so um, I'm very relaxed <laughs> instead of Roy barking my your dog was also barking <laughs> uh, well thank you so much to those of you who are with me now thank you to everybody who's watching later and yeah, I hope it's okay on this format. I, I, I just couldn't rotate uh, rotate the phone, so it'll just look a bit strange on YouTube, I know, but it doesn't make a difference to experiencing this time together, this healing time, and I hope that wherever you are, whatever you're doing for the rest of the day, you feel this beautiful presence of these energies, this lovely, loving, uh, healing energy. And uh, I'll just send all my love to you and see you again next time. Thanks for joining me. Goodbye, God bless.